one person might be. And this guy had on sunglasses in the front row. Well, look at this. <laughs> Specifically for Purvey Revo. Get in there, not too close. Let me see you. Let me Coming back over here, seeing you with these sunglasses. There's no sun in here. <laughs> and you being disrespectful. I need to be able to see you, right? If you don't take them damn glasses off, Roseanne, he lifted up his glasses and everything was black. It seems like Monique has seen everything that the industry has to offer, but her recent revelations during the interview with Roseanne Barr created another buzz in Hollywood. Apparently, the blackballed actress and comedian was not joking when she spoke about Jamie Foxx's terrible transformations, and she has seen with her own eyes what the Oscar-winning actor had been turned to after three months of his mysterious hospitalization. He didn't have any eyes. Did you hear what I said? What? He lifted up his glasses and everything was black. Hi everyone and welcome back to Celeb Live Channel. You guys all know Monique as a whistleblower because after being mistreated by the Hollywood top players, the comedian decided to leave no stones unturned in the industry with her revelations. Now, the actress has been worried about the shady and sinister things happening behind the closed doors of glitzy and glamorous studios for years, and it feels like we've finally gotten enough proof to suspect that Jamie Foxx has been replaced with some kind of AI puppet. You know, somebody was talking about I'm clone. Well, check this out. So Monique believes that the whole story with Jamie Foxx could be just the beginning of another series of unfortunate events for many actors. And she warns everyone not to believe that the Ray star is back in flesh and eager to continue working on his projects. The actor's health scare gave food to many wild theories and conspiracies, including the ideas of him being cloned and replaced with a double in his video update. If you remember the story, Jamie was absent for entire spring season, and we haven't got much updates on his state and condition. And most importantly, no one has seen new videos and photos of the actor since April 12th. So when he suddenly appeared on a boat, there was a good reason to suspect that it was his stunt double use to fool the audience and assure them that Jamie is doing okay. Plus, the actor was wearing sunglasses, and this made Monique suspect something fishy in the entire story with Jamie's miraculous curing, and his current looks are simply frightening, as if he's not himself anymore. I look back at him, and the energy I gave him was, I'ma mind my business and walk my ass back down to the other side of the stage. So Monique tends to believe that the industry is playing with fans and other naive celebrities, and they are showing us someone or something else. The actress became even firmer in her belief after the allegedly real video statement from Fox was posted on his Instagram account on July 22. The actor wanted to clarify all the rumors that have been swirling for months about his health, and it's been the long-awaited update that the whole world was asking for. Sometimes things you know, get out of hand. People saying what I got. Some people said I was. As Jamie Foxx tried to convince fans, he was very much on the road to recovery. But in fact, many netizens have gone as far as to claim in a new and quite bizarre theory that the newly emerged footage of Jamie is a stunt, double, or even a image speaking. A lot of internet users noticed crazy things about this recording, like why the actor was filming himself on plain white background or why only his head was moving. Fox's health has been the topic of speculation for months. And of course, such drastic changes in the actor's appearance couldn't be unnoticed. Although he spent a prolonged amount of time in the hospital with an undisclosed medical emergency, Monique believes he wasn't treated there. But in fact, the industry got rid of him as an inconvenient and non-working piece for the machine. Do you think people are really uh, terrified to hear the truth? Any kind of truth? Yes. On any level? Yeah. Now, Jamie Foxx ain't been right since the moment he went against the industry elites. And while there was an attempt to shut down all clone rules, it seems like the powerful figures that grasped all control over actors in Hollywood went too far with their lies, and no one believes their lies. The actor may be a private person, but as many people say, they have never seen so much deceiving and lying about celebrity health ever. As one source said, he has the tightest circle around him. Well, Jamie or whoever this was in the video stated that it, it was necessary to keep things private because the image of the bedridden and tube bed actor was not a pleasant sight. And he did to want his fans to associate him with these images. People were waiting, you know, or wanting to hear updates. But to be honest with you, I just didn't want you to see me like that, man. It was a show. I didn't want you to see me with a... Uh, with tubes. However, unclear health updates about Jamie Foxx have been going around since his hospitalization. Time can only tell what is real and what is not, but as Monique says, the industry top players along with elites will do anything to hush this thing with Jamie and move on. It does add to speculations that Jamie Foxx is hiding behind the sunglasses to cover his transformed eyes because he is one of the co-founders on eyewear brand. And what could be the best excuse to promote it if not wearing them all the time, hiding your eyeballs behind the lenses, leaving people to wonder if you are the same person as you were before hospitalization? Curious. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm curious about what's going on. Right now. now, Monique's revelations only add to speculations about Jamie being permanently replaced. And as many fans say, they have been suspecting the same all along since the footage of the actor riding the boat appeared. And once the controversial video update popped up on Instagram, it became clear to man people how bad the industry worked on faking the actor's appearance. As one person commented, Jamie's head isn't even the same shape as before. He isn't as black as he was. His head is shaped differently. And another user added, that's the same thing I said. Jamie talked too much and they got rid of Jamie. Jamie is no longer with us. Those are Jamie Foxx lookalike are body double. Now, let's see if other celebs are going to join Monique and speak more about the hideous events and crimes that Hollywood elites have been committing since the dawn of time. The comedian and actress had her share of fights against the industry top players in the past, and she was even blackballed herself for standing against such powerful and influential people like Oprah Winfrey and Tyler Perry. You have bullies in this business, and the bullies are so used to being bullies, they don't understand when somebody bite back. Monique is still upset with Oprah and Tyler and the whole industry for standing be their side, and she's not afraid to tell that Jamie Foxx also fell the victim to the industry games. And while her beef with Tyler Perry and Oprah was her way to send quite a serious message to the show business top players, Jamie Foxx was already one of them since he was joking about it during his performance at the 2018 Bed Awards. I know Oprah tried to reach out. Come on, Monique, Monique. Settle down, Monique. Because we love Oprah, right? So in the end, Jamie reaps what he sowed and the industry mistreated the actor cruelly, even though he tried to be one of them and be friends with all the notorious figures like Oprah, Will Smith, and of course, the infamous music mogul, Diddy. And as Monique says, she is not going to play a puppet for Hollywood Alisters, and she wants to be treated fairly. Probably that's why she hadn't cast in any movie or TV series for 13 long years. With the help of other whistleblowers like 50 Cent, who was the first movie producer ever in 13 years to offer the blackballed actress a leading role, she is coming back to show the elites that talents and hard work mean more than being compliant. I, I remember um, this was years ago, and I would always say, I know my worth, I know my worth, I know my worth. So apart from starring in the second season of 50 Cent's TV series called BM, Monique also wants to make the industry a better place free from all evil and criminal elements, and every time when she has a chance to show people the real state of affairs that's going on behind the closed doors, she grabs this opportunity, like with exposing Jamie Foxx's unrealistic appearance. However, the comedian is saying it may be hard to convince the majority of people since the industry elites have the opinion of the masses in their iron fist. And that sometimes it takes years to do. So what's happening is if you have 10 million followers. Although some people would suggest that Monique is simply bitter because she couldn't mingle and become one of the handlers herself because of her complicated personality, there is still a large group of fans that see right through the shady acts of the show business, and they are 100 with Monique. Some netizens believe that's it, Jamie Foxx, who made a wrong step while playing these dangerous games, and that's why he is being punished for that now. As one person commented, of course. Remember, yeah, Monique knew Jamie personally. When she tells you that ain't him. Believe it, they disappeared Jamie back in the late 90s. Do your research people, compare his images, hairline, forehead width, ears, jaws, chin. And another user added, Jamie said too much about Diddy. He told too many secrets. Y'all can't trust none of them. The industry is beyond wicked. Well, it seems like the industry actually turned away from Jamie Foxx. And now we are watching the shadow of once a great actor. And what do you think about this, guys? Do you believe what Monique says about Jamie not being himself? And was he truly eliminated by the industry top players? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'm eager to know what you're thinking. And in the meantime, check my other videos about the sinister side of the show business. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching this and bye.